Hi, my name is Ryan James and I'm part of the Action Up Drama group at the Mary Hall Hub. Over the past eight weeks, me and the rest of my team have been working alongside Scrumptious Productions to research what life is like in the barracks compared to now. After we conducted all our research, we put it all together to make this film. This is Welcome to Wink. Barracks, home to over 100 soldiers of over both World War One and World War Two, and many of the flats in the barracks are now named after the soldiers. For instance, my dad's flat, which is named Brody, after Walter L. Brody, who won the Victoria Club Cross for heroic services during the losses. Have you got any stories you'd like to tell us about Mary Hall? Well, about the, the barracks, a, um, a story that I know from when I was very young was my grandfather. Uh, he wanted to volunteer to join the army and unbeknownst to his wife, he went down to the barracks and volunteered uh, and he joined the uh, Royal Scots Greys yeah. and then he came up the road with the uniform and everybody was shocked when they saw him but uh, he wanted to join the, the war. But everybody was a bit naked. I wasn't. I think it was the only, my brother and I walked down Mary Hill Road with the only children that weren't a bit naked. There was no children, they were all away. But my father was called up and my mother said, well, your father's away to the Royal Engineers territories and I'm not letting you go. So we just stayed at home. But the people, that was August, September, the people all started coming back by Christmas and we had no schooling for months. And then we got back to normal, as much as normal as you could, half a day just. And we eventually went to school on a Saturday morning to try and make up what we lost. What do you think life would have been like in the bar barracks, like not even just in the way for barracks, but like in the barracks in general? Well, uh, I think in the Mary Hill barracks, uh, in particular, that we, we now know is, is the Wineford, but uh, I, I've got friends who live in the Wineford still, and I know they still call it the barracks, even though it hasn't been a barracks for a long time. A long time. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Um, I, I think from the stories that I've, I've read uh, and heard um, is that the, the barracks was a very lively place. Um, and if you know anything about soldiers in the barracks, they, they are pretty, pretty busy. You know, soldiers don't get many opportunities to lie around in bed doing nothing. There's always somebody to order them about, get them out of the bed. And if there's, uh, there's an old saying in the army, if there's nothing to do, they will invent something for you to do. <laughs> You know, so you might find yourself, if there really is nothing to do, you might find yourself painting coals white or something pointless or stupid like that but to keep you busy. How did you feel when the barracks were demolished? Well, that's when the HLI, it got amalgamated with the Fusiliers in 58. So the barracks shut down after that for a few years and then they knocked it down and built the houses. Which was good in one way, it was giving people homes and they also, they still kept the wall all around it so as it was part of the heritage of Mary Hill because the barracks and the wall still stands. I, I remember when they started demolishing it and starting to build the Wineford uh, and I watched the houses being built in the Wineford and it was quite exciting because we, we wondered if they would take the big wall away, but they kept the wall right yeah. round. Uh, so it was um, a whole new thing, these high-rise buildings, and uh, it was quite exciting watching it growing. Yeah. When it was eventually built, what was the Wainford like when it first was built? Well, I think 
it was a great place when it was built because the houses were all new and people were excited to get new housing and uh, some of them were coming from very poor housing so this was all new and young families and the, I, I think it was a, a really nice place and a safe place because it was uh, quite, um, the way they had designed it, it was safe for children. People who lived in rooms and kitchens without bathrooms or hot water all wanted a house in the Wentford and quite was hundreds of thousands went in there. It was the size of Girvan, the Wineford. It's a huge place. It was huge. And everybody wanted a house in the Wineford. So a lot, my mother didn't get one for years, but it went, lots of people were so happy to live in the Wineford then. And they got up old folks clubs and all sorts of things. It was, and they built two schools. So it was, it was a great place then. Oh, to now this is... The barracks now is completely changed. It's all big, lovely high-rise flats, and they've been refurbished again now. So I think everybody thinks they're fantastic.
Thank you to all the people that told us stuff. Knowing all this about the white food, I'm proud to call us my own. I've learned a lot from the interviews. It was good learning how to work the camera to interview everybody. And it was fun listening to all the stories. If I was to sum up something about the wine court, it'd be awesome! Can't sum up the wine court in one word, it would be fantastical. Great, brilliant, the creative. How is it? It's amazing. Historical tactics. The bomb.